Eight of their 10 wins this season join the 97 Michigan team as the only Big Ten squads ever to win at Penn State, Wisconsin, and Michigan State in the same season and won four games by three points or fewer for the first time in school history. Ferentz last won this award in 2004. One prediction I can be uh, safe in saying that there are going to be a lot of great stories this fall, certainly on the field from a team standpoint and also from an individual standpoint. So uh, like everybody up here, I think we're all excited to get started and uh, anxious to see how the season unfolds. Thank you. Coach Burns, he is like my son. He's such a class gentleman and he's so smart. At Iowa, his team has won eight straight games dating back to last season. And you might recall that Iowa is the only Big Ten team that won a bowl game last season. The head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes is Kirk Ferentz, 11th year, 70 and 53 overall. A couple of conference titles for Coach Ferentz in 2002 and 2004 as he gets greetings, handshakes, and hugs from the legend Hayden Fry. A big weekend. basically 30 years and that's what I always had but if you're a parent your young man is thinking about division one college football is that good do you want to play for a head coach like for parents a quality person they are really really lucky to have them in Iowa City there's no doubt I mean there's more to the experience of just playing for play for that man, Coach Ferentz. Kirk Ferentz program, take a look at it. This is the first 7-0 start for Iowa since 85. They've never been 8-0. Coach, you are just the fourth coach ever to win this Big Ten Coach of the Year award three times or more, and the list is really impressive. The other three, it's Bo Schembechler, Joe Paterno, and Hayden Fry. What does it mean to be mentioned in that company? 
Uh, that, that's very humble, I can assure you. And I, as you know, I worked for Coach Cry for nine years, uh, one of the great, uh, great experiences of my life, certainly. Uh, grew up in western Pennsylvania, always admired Coach Paterno, continue to do so. I just marvel at the job that he does and uh, what, what he brings to college football and college athletics in general. And Coach Schembeck was one of the great coaches of all time. So uh, even to be in that category in any fashion is just, uh, it's very, very humbling.